Welcome to the Patrick Riggins Show, the show that has its critics, but in the end is hard to criticize because we, meaning me, the host and you, the listeners, are correct. We are the ones on the side of freedom and liberty, and that is always the side that is on target. While these other shows are out there wildly shooting into the air, hoping to hit something, we are always landing dead center of the bullseye on the issues. Helping to spread our logic and reasoning worldwide is the radio station here in East Tennessee that rules the roost. WNOX FM, found at the frequency of 100.3 megahertz, or megacycles if you are from the old school. If you would prefer to get your information via the digital highway, you can also tune into this broadcast at the station's website. The address for that being www.wnoxfm.com. There you can watch and listen to this show live from the exclusive webcam. On it, you can view the plush and air-conditioned studios of WNOX located on historic Kingston Pike in Knoxville, Tennessee. Standing here to my left, if you're watching on WNOXFM.com, is the show producer, Tori, who is uh, currently ogling the Olympics. (laughs) (laughs) I, I am watching the female beach volleyball, and I have to say... I am very happy and very angry at the same time. Yes. The, 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 you're not happy with the American uniform. With the uniforms, no. But the... Argentina's uniform. Argentina. I yeah. like those. <laughs> <laughs> that is political correctness run amok. Oh, I know, and I don't even want to get in on it, like, get into it like that. But, yeah, that's... Yeah, that, it's, it's, it's everywhere here in the We don't want to make everybody else mad. Yeah, I can't do that. Have to have to think of everybody else. Well, and you know, the other countries don't really bother with that. But the ladies are wearing long sleeves. <laughs> if you're not watching, long sleeves with uh, bikini bottoms. Yeah. So I guess the legs are okay, but, but not arms. Yeah. And they got turtlenecks too, don't they? <laughs> Basically, I mean, it's 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 basic. Yeah. And the Argentinas are out there. Uh, well. <laughs> yeah. Looks like they're wearing thongs. Just, just, just <laughs> put it, yeah. Put it this way, Tories. Argentina be, don't care to make the rest of the our world mad. I, I figured what what will be going on is you'll be pushing wrong buttons all day today. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. What are we talking about? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're, we're winning, so every, yeah. Every, the the answer to every question today will be Argentina. <laughs> yeah. What was I saying? Wait till Brazil plays. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you to everyone for tuning in again this week. Like every week, I have a jam-packed show, probably easily three hours worth of material, but I'll try and get to as much as I can. That leads me to a quick broadcast issue I want to address before we get started this afternoon. I frequently get emails about this, and also whenever I run into someone who listens to the show, it, it most certainly comes up then as well. And the issue is one of taking callers on the show. I try to get to as many callers as I can, but unfortunately, I have so much when I come into the studio. If, if you watch on the webcam, you, you see me come in with a laptop and a huge stack of papers. When I come in the studio, I have, I have a hard time trying to get to everything that I bring in here in, in the 40-odd, some odd minutes I have available. Yes, it is an hour show, but by the time you factor in commercial breaks and news and weather at the beginning of the end... I'm left about 43 minutes or so, something like that. So since about everybody listening knows how big a job I have, just trying to talk about all this stuff the government is working to try to get away with nowadays, I know you understand why we take so few calls. But know this for absolute certain. This show would not be as successful as it is becoming without you, the listeners, and everyone you turn on to about this show. It's like the old saying, though, If a tree fell in the forest and no one was around to hear it, did it make a noise? In that same vein, it doesn't matter how intelligent an argument I make for less government involvement in your daily life. If no one is listening, well, it really doesn't matter. Fortunately, a lot of people are listening with more and more tuning in for the first time each week. I receive a bunch of email from people who tell me they are so glad to actually hear someone on the air speaking to them. Because on this show, we are consistent 
and use logic and reason to defend the ideas of freedom and liberty. And that is what people want. They don't want a host that just yells and screams but doesn't really say anything or a host that tells them they want less government and then turns around and falls into lockstep with that same government when it is trampling on our rights and liberties. Just this time, they agree with what it's doing because it's okay then if they agree with it. If you peel away that veneer of a lot of these so-called conservative hosts hide behind, you'll see that they're government people just like the liberal host. They want government doing their bidding, which is still intrusive, but to them it's not because government is doing it in a way they want. That is why it's so important to listen to this show and, and develop that part of your brain which questions all of this slop coming over the airways from commentators, politicians, bureaucrats. When you start listening with a critical ear, you'll start seeing how so much of what is going on in the country today saps away your freedom little by little. The good thing is you will stop accepting what you're being told and start thinking for yourself. That, my friends, is the key to turning this country around. The key that unlocks the door to the vault where the government has hidden away our confiscated freedoms and liberties. Even those freedoms and liberties which we have willingly given up or others have given up without our consent. Now, the fight won't be easy, nor quick. That's because taking away your freedoms only takes a president's signature on a piece of legislation. Although increasingly, it is the dictate from some unknown bureaucrat in a faceless government agency. When it comes to restoring the rights taken away, progress is extremely slow and painful. And in America, it is supposed to be the opposite. Taking away rights should never be easy. And you don't have to worry about how much pain it takes to acquire them because by being born human and in this country, they are yours supposedly automatically. So we're up on the first break of the show already. It's a very short hour, very quick hour. When we return, we'll talk about, oh, we'll talk about uh, Obama's speech that has been all over the news. But I have a decidedly different take on that, which is what you expect on this show. And much, much more coming up. Join me after this break in about two minutes.